All right, sir, your presidential portrait is finished. Let me see. Ah, excellent. Much better than the one Gary Larson did. Why would I even be talking to a chicken? Lois! Stewie, your reign of terror has come to an end. I will not stand by while you make innocent people suffer. Bring it on, bitch! Time for me to finish what I started anyway. Baby Stewie. I can't do it. You're a terrible, evil child, but you're still my baby, and I could never hurt you. Well, that works out perfectly, because I can hurt you! Say hi to Cleveland for me. Oh, and Mr. Weed. It's just been revoked. Uh, Peter, he, he didn't really set you up for that lethal weapon line. It, it doesn't really work here. Oh. I'll have what she's having. That's... better? Hey, Stewie, we got a postcard from Peter and Lois on the cruise. What are you doing? Oh, hello, Brian. Well, you recall my complaining about Lois and the fat man not taking me with them? Yeah. Yes, well, you said I didn't have it in me to kill Lois, so I was just running a simulation to find out exactly how killing her and taking over the world would play out for me. Yeah? How'd that go? Not well, Brian. Not well. I suppose I'm not ready to kill Lois or take over the world. Yet. So, what you're saying is that what you experienced in the simulation didn't really happen or even matter? Yes, that's correct. So it was sort of like a dream? No, it was a simulation. Yes, but theoretically, if someone watched the events of that simulation from start to finish, only to find out that none of it really happened, I mean, you don't think that would be just like a giant middle finger to them? Well, hopefully they would have enjoyed the ride. I don't know, man. I think you piss a lot of people off that way. Well, at least it didn't end like The Sopranos, where it just cut to black in mid-set.